Use my affiliate link to support the channel down in the description. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mad Games GX here, and we are joined with uh, the homie Dom, uh, returning guest, uh, always cooking up something new each format, and he's here to uh, show off and enter uh, the channel really to Senpai Dragons, which is going to be really the new one of the new best decks. Uh, you know, really even with this new ban list to be potentially the best deck. We'll see how that plays out, and want to have Dom on to show off his build, uh, give some thoughts on the deck, and uh, even some combo. Dom, how's it going? Uh, Hello. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, how? What, what are your thoughts on Senpai Dragons? This format. I like it. It's probably going to be my new thing. Until I get bored of it and go back to voiceless. Really, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's about it. You want to go ahead. So, starting off, we got three Batari. The main uh, main dragon. Best dragon. Uh, searches a spell and trap when normal or special summoned. And the synchro summoning for all three dragons are not... They're soft ones per turns. That's, yeah, they're soft ones per turns. So, literally, you just keep going off on them. It, it's a little retarded. Or nutty, I should really say. But uh, then three run. Uh... This would be your special summon out of the deck for your boy Green. Uh, green is a monster reborn, so how they all work is during damage step, beginning of damage step when you battle with any of the dragons, uh, they all do something. Green would pop out your monster reborn, which would get your white back from the grave, and then red would get green. We got three field spell. Uh, <laughs> it's it's a, it's nutty. The field spell is really nutty for what it is. Um, yeah, so what does the makes all your monster fire monsters fire dragons or fire monsters? Uh, fire dragons. So all my fire dragons during my main phase are unaffected by activated effects. Then it can also search by discarding by pitching. And uh, when a card is destroyed, I can target one of my dragon synchros and give a double the attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's really good. It completely gets her, like, most board breakers and hand trap. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, fun thing. Uh, this is the card you'd be searching off of white, unless you already have it. But, uh, this would be... I can't even speak right now. You activate this during the battle phase, essentially. Um, more than likely, you activate it during the battle phase, they get red on field. That's how you get red on, uh, in battle phase. Oh, okay. Unless you're... Yeah, so, um... During the battle phase, uh, you do both car, uh, both effects during in sequence. So you add the special summon one uh, fire dragon or fire monster. Then you just pop or yeah, one fire dragon monster. Then you pop it out. Well, you pop right out from the deck or hand deck wherever. And you just yeah, and you proceed the synchro. Just go off from there. <laughs> Not many people are on blaster. <laughs> I like it. It's good. So like, why do you? Like it's just an extender. Uh, yeah, you'll see why specs, for the extra. Right? Specs, yeah, right? it's a free spec. Then if you're playing shifter, you can just toodaloo it out your hand. Free ad. Oh, uh, we got the Wonder Twins, Mag and Druus. Very self. I don't really have to explain much about that. For hand trap wise, we're running double ogre, three shifter, three ash, three imperm. I like them a lot. Uh, like, I came in clutch today, playing against... Really? Uh, I was hitting Barrier, the Guardian itself, without low on field. <laughs> just doing everything I can to be annoying with it. It's really nice. Yeah, the right. field spells are going to go crazy this, uh, this upcoming format. Uh, three Prosperity. Uh, literally, do not care about the half battle damage. You still will kill your opponent during the battle. I promise you with this deck. Uh, for board breaks, it's three Gekis, three Droplet. I'm thinking about putting in two Lightning Storms, too. I'm more than likely adding two lightning storms to this, 100%. Are there any then, uh, some of the lists actually do play super poly. I don't. I don't think you need it. I think it's too much. Uh, cross out. Uh, your dragons are only protected during the main phase if you have the field spell, so you kind of want to protect them like, still through like ash and stuff and imperm. Then the one terraforming, which I know a lot of the lists are running in set rotation with Necro Valley. I might dabble in that, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Okay, and are they main decking it? Yeah, they're main decking it. For the side deck, it's Feather Duster, which should be in the main, in my opinion. But again, I'm about to put Lightning Storms in, so I don't really care that much. Uh, the one rivalry. Funny thing you can do with this card. Yeah, it's free. Literally, it's free. But uh, if your opponent makes you go first, and you have a god hand with this, and the best card, Odrama Trio, you can just demolish your opponent. <laughs> so what is the uh, so you, you lock them with a rivalry so they can't summon anything then uh, you pop out if they go battle I should say if they go battle you synchro summon on their turn making uh, transcendent dragon and it forces them to attack and it'll swap the tokens from defense to attack yeah, it's just a funny card too <laughs> you don't need it 
You really don't. Heat Wave is probably 20 times better, but <laughs> I thought it was just a funny thing. Who's the one goes in. $20 right I, I'm telling you, bro. I'm tired of $20 commons. We have the goes in match. I mean, I don't really. It didn't. It never came up. I don't think I'm going to keep it in, to be honest with you. Yeah, I literally threw this together within, like, what, five minutes, to be honest with you. So, the side deck's not really, like, set in stone. Uh, cross out. All I gotta say, cross out. <laughs> but, uh, if they do debarrier you, you can still kill them with, the uh, Promethean Princess line. That Snake Eye does. Double Cosmic. One Thrust. Which I swore I had one in the main, but it, it probably will end up going in the main. Three Droll. Three bell. That's yeah. 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 Any non so, slots? Twenty twenty-five, I think. Twenty-five. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah, around twenty-five. Uh, extra deck, Trident Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you essentially just do the line. I'll show you how to get it out. But uh, this is this is the card that kills your opponent. And, yeah, it's crazy, especially with the field spell up. But uh, transcend the dragon. That card's insane. We were talking yes. about that before this. Like, that card's actually... The fact that oh, you can't activate... Uh, any this would be the Ojama Trio, to be honest with you. And the Rive. Yeah, you, like... You pop out Transcendent, and it switches them to attack, and they, they're for, uh, they're forced to attack. And what else do uh, You just can't activate anything in battle. So I... You shake my hand at this point, to be honest with you. If you can't stop it. Uh, Rudy Rose. I might keep it. I might not. I don't know yet. I'm still debating. People aren't running the Time Lord card yet, uh, Time Lord card, but I haven't gotten it yet. It's still in mail, to be honest with you. I just ordered it. What's that card? Uh, it's U Bell and stuff like that. It outs U Bell. I, th I believe it's U Bell? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it outs U Bell. I think that's like the only thing it's really worth, but you, you can run Chain Gang, to be honest with you, instead, if you don't have it. Uh, Bident Dragon. Oh, also, Trident Dragon and Bident Dragon have once per uh, dual effects. They. Up to three attacks, Bident Dragon can come out of the graveyard and pop a spell. Up to four attacks uh, that have been declared, uh, Transcendent can come out of the graveyard and pop any card on the field. But yeah, uh, this is a Monster Reborn, so this would be your go-to for red and white. This is the first dragon you'll make off white, uh, white and red. Oh yeah, it's like... Uh... Yep, so this is the first card you'll make. Uh, you'll go white and red, you'll declare another attack when green is on, well, green's on field, uh, then you'll reborn either of these from the graveyard. Whatever one you don't reborn with, uh, by the, and synchro into Transcendent. Then, that's Rudy Rose, you run the two of for the Bidens. Uh, I've yet to use this. Hopefully Thursday, at Locals, I get to use this, but, uh. Yeah, that's like, kind of going Black Rose Moonlight. Right? Or no. Yeah, you could do it for going first, yeah. Or I, I forgot what the do. effect is. What um, do do? of a level five or higher monster is summoned, you can target it and bounce it back to the hand. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Queen Rose itself, Black Rose Dragon. Of course, so good. Then, yeah, I do. I know. <laughs> you got the Clear Wing Synchron Dragon. I don't think you really need it to be honest with you. I, you really don't, but <laughs> it's there. Yeah. Ancient Fairy Dragon. Uh, and you have Meteor Burst Dragon, which is a baby version of Transcendent Dragon, but only works on monsters on the field. Oh, okay. Then... Yeah, I saw that card going up in price for the card. Yeah, I think the Ultra's up to like four or five bucks now. Which I, it's really not that good, to be honest with you. There's way more better options. Uh, we have the one, uh, seal? Or, yeah, the one seal. Do you the one Hita. Uh, going first. You'll make this going first, if need be. But I I haven't made it yet. Like I said, I'm this is first time testing today at locals with it. So as everything's not truly set in stone. Um, princess, the Atlas. This is technically supposed to be my phoenix. <laughs> I'll get him till Thursday. I had to borrow someone's tonight. Okay, so that's a pyro phoenix. <laughs> this is also another option you uh, for. To be honest with you, you can just take clear wing out or. Meteor Burst, you don't, you don't need to run them. You can also just run the IP, uh, SP, if you have it. Really good utility. You don't get locked there. Any, so. Yeah, um, you get locked when Biden hits the field. Biden's the only one that locks you in the Fire Dragons. Oh, really? Okay, I did not yep. know that. But, yeah, that's it for, like, the whole deck. Yeah. It's, oh, go ahead. Oh, or do you have a side deck with it? No, that was the side deck was the rivalry and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did show me the side deck. Uh, my bad. Um, yeah, no, uh, very cool, very cool. Did you want to show off 
I mean, I can actually add in the combo from before. I don't know if you have any combos you wanted to show off. Uh, I can just do it here. It's fine. I'm just gonna... So, if you open up some cracked hand like this, I don't know. What, what, what are the random two cards? No, oh, that's not random. Only two <laughs> cards. Uh, there you go. Two Gekis. Nice. <laughs> You're essentially going second with this deck. So, like, you really don't care what your opponent does that much. I mean, there's, there's definitely better board break options, in my opinion, but... I've been on Dragecki for a while now, especially with Voiceless too. People just don't expect Dragecki, and it's not once per turn, so it's hilarious. But uh, yeah, you'll draw, you'll board break them, you'll activate Sangin. Uh, if you don't, if you need to add, you this is what you're main searching. So you'll you'll add pitch, uh, normal summon effect to add, which you'll add quick play. Uh, go battle phase, then activate quick play. Quick play will get you red, so you'll add it to your hand and special summon it, unless it's already in your hand. Uh, you can also special summon it if you have already one in your hand, like uh, going second or whatever, if you draw into another one. You can also special summon it if you control a fire uh, dragon. But, um, yeah, so then you declare battle. Uh, you take no battle damage involving these cards, so don't be scared to swing. You declare a beginning of damage step, you'll pop green out. Where is he at? Oh my god, I lost my green. Oh no. There he is. You'll pop green out. Uh, you'll continue. Uh, green protects from being destroyed by battle, so like you don't ever have to worry about your dragon just dying. For like the voiceless, if you swing directly into the 41 beat stick, you're fine. You take no battle damage, you're, you're chilling. Uh, you'll synchro summon. So you'll use white and red. Make Biden an effect. I usually grab white first. Uh, declare an attack. So this will be your third attack. Uh, beginning of damage step, use uh, f green. Green being brings back whatever one you don't grab, so either or. Uh, synchro summon again after the deck's declared, resolves, whatever. Going to transcendent. Transcendent. Uh, don't swing. Uh, you can swing. It really doesn't matter. But uh, you'll use the once per dual effect in the graveyard bind it to special summon it back because this will be your trident dragon. Uh, so yeah. you declare. So now you have this to come back for the fourth, just in case that you, you don't have like uh, one of the other dragons. The pop for a trident, but uh, effect of uh, Fadari, they're all quick effects. Synchro, trident dragon, trident dragon effect, pop two, and swing for game. That is a beautiful combo. The funny thing is, the field spell also, uh, like I said, if you pop anything, you target one fire dragon on the field, and you sy fire synchro dragon, and you give it double attack, so essentially uh, now it's a 6k beat stick swinging three times at you. <laughs> I'm like, if they do have, like, a, a card blocking the way, you go transcend the dragon in the graveyard before you swing, special summon it, and then pop the card in the field and just swing for game. Oh, yeah. And that's, like, the main... Yeah, no. Do you... What do you... You have to go first. Like, obviously, Heat Wave is the thing, but what... You know, for the people wondering for that, maybe. It makes fears. I mean, I, I haven't been... I have, to be honest with you, no one made me go first today, which is actually really shocker. Besides, like, one player, and I had... The wonderful god hand of Ojama Trio and Rivalry plus White Dragon on <laughs> in my hand going first. So it really didn't bother me. But uh yeah, it it's you make spheres and stuff going first. You just wanna rely on the spheres and just like the interruptions of the hand traps. Very nice, very nice. Um and there, are there any changes besides the Oh uh, to be honest with you, I have no clue yet. They're still working on it. Uh I I I might take shifters out. Okay, yeah, to be honest not with really. You. I mean, it doesn't really hurt your deck, but, like, also maybe, like, for something else, for a different hand trap. Yeah, so, uh, it could be Nib or Droll. I don't know yet. Uh, going into the format more, I feel like Droll is going to be super good. Especially with uh, Snake Eyes now, kind of, bam, uh, hit. It's not really hit at all. <laughs> yeah. They literally just gave it a slap on the wrist. Not even. But, uh, yeah, I don't know yet. I'm still debating. Like, the whole side deck will definitely get changed out. Except for the D-Barrier. Because, you know, D-Barrier, Call Synchro, I lose. <laughs> Unfortunately. I, I do Yeah. Like a branded player. <laughs> the card should be bad. <laughs> he went in Voiceless, man. Like, now since Tempai is coming in, like, I think I'm going to be running Cross out and Voiceless, too. 
Yeah, man, I'm with you there and branded. Like, it's gonna be a side effect because, oh, as much as people are like, maybe I feel like Tenpai is gonna be very good. At, um, uh, no matter what, like, especially with the with the new support around the corner and in Infinite Forbidden, that's actually just straight up broken because they get a new Poplar, um, plus uh, some more going first options and other just extenders. Like, it's very good. So, uh, good future ahead of Tenpai. It's a budget deck, and I feel like uh, it's a great. Deck oh player. yeah. Um, good one card combos you don't really have to spend anything except getting that trident dragon um but hopefully that'll have a reprint by then do you think um you need trident dragon if you want to i mean like at what level do you need a trident dragon there's probably alternatives but like trident just secures the win to be honest with you got it it's the easiest way the easiest yeah way. especially like the transcended just that card's really dumb like <laughs> That should not be a card, to be honest with you with that. Yeah, that card's crazy, actually. Um, no. So, yeah. They're so uh, won me most of my games today. Oh, really? Yeah. That was yeah. you win to most. Got it. <laughs> uh, $60 for, I think, a playset. But, like, you're, the, you're still literally the only... This and Trident Dragon are the most expensive. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. But uh, this is pre-sale price still, so, like... Uh, it will go down. People, they'll say the ad deck sucks or whatever. I mean, they're, they're probably right. Who knows? It's still, people are still working on it. It's a new deck. New yeah, mechanic. Exactly. Or not new mechanic, but like, new interactive interacts. Yeah, no, we'll find a build here in the TCG, and I appreciate being on the channel to show off your build and some combos for people to check out the demo. Oh, I'm thinking about adding this. <laughs> Before I forget, oh, this is I one thing I was thinking about adding. <laughs> I was just talking to you about it earlier. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> put that in the thumbnail. That's crazy. So, like, what's the theory with that? Just for like more extension? It's just extensions. Like, I like I said, I'm scared of D barrier. I, like, I died to an ash today, bro. It feels bad, but that's whatever. But at least if I have this, pitch a fire dragon, fire monster. <laughs> at least I get blaster and can normal summon and do other and stuff shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, thank you for coming on the channel, Dom. As always, uh, please uh, make sure to leave a like uh, down below. Uh, if you guys want more content like this, subscribe to uh, Road to 5K subs. Uh, we will be seeing you guys later. Have a good one.